Hi, I'm Dwayne Goins, registered dietitian and owner of Neurotrition, where I offer nutrition and neurofeedback services. In this video, I will be discussing what changes you might experience during and after a lens session. Please watch my other video, What is Lens Neurofeedback, linked below, for more basic information on lens neurofeedback. Also, check out my full disclaimer in the description box below. Let's get into it. Lens neurofeedback works by interrupting maladaptive brain patterns through an EEG device which changes your brain and results in a calmer nervous system and a reduction in anxiety. It requires no work from the patient and takes a matter of seconds per sight. When it comes to the changes experienced, some patients will notice changes during and within the hour after a session, while most individuals will notice changes within the first 48 hours. Others might have a harder time noticing changes, and this could be for a variety of reasons which I'll get into a little later. The reason changes are variable is because everyone is different and bio-individual, but there are two main factors that help determine what kind of changes you might experience. The first is sensitivity, and the second is reactivity. Lens providers have a questionnaire, which you can find online at oakslabs.com, that gives providers a way to understand what levels of treatment to administer. This is primarily based on your level of sensitivity and your reactivity levels. Not surprisingly, the changes you will notice from a lens session will also have a lot to do with your sensitivity and reactivity. Let's start with sensitivity. Sensitivity is a trait on a spectrum which reflects how discerning a person is to information, both bodily and mentally. Sensitive people have brains that can notice changes more easily, and they don't need as much stimulation to notice a change. In fact, a highly sensitive person in their day-to-day -day life can walk in a room and notice different energies coming from people or feel when a medication is working, or even be able to accurately predict the weather. If you are a highly sensitive person, people might even think you are psychic. And for our most sensitive patients, lens neural feedback is administered on the feet first. It's the furthest point away from the head, and it still affects the brain, but it is more gentle for a hypersensitive person who will notice changes sometimes only after one second of treatment on their feet. Other factors that will be adjusted by your provider could be the number of seconds administered per brain site, the frequency of visits, or the number of sites treated at a time. For sensitive people, whether lens is administered on the head or feet, they might notice changes during the treatment, whereas other people will experience changes later, within 48 hours or more. First, let's talk about what you might experience bodily during a session. Some people have reported a tingling sensation where the sensors are placed or a pulling sensation near the sensors. Another person described it as the feeling when an elevator drops. After the treatment, some sensitive people might experience sensations on different parts of their bodies, like their spine, or feel movement in the body near different parts of their head, neck, or throat. Now, here's a basic list of the changes reported during a session that can occur on a perceptual level. Colors are more vivid, Room looks brighter, sense of hearing is more acute, sense of smell is more acute, eyesight has improved, details in the room or out the window are sharper, sense of relaxation, calm, shoulders dr dropping, easier to breathe, deeper breathing, calmer breathing, less rumination, fewer thoughts running the mind, feeling lighter, easier to laugh. Let's talk about people who are less sensitive to changes or don't seem to notice changes as easily. These types of people in their day-to-day -day life aren't going to notice little or subtle changes around them. Think about a husband who is asked by his wife, do you notice anything different about me? And he can't tell whether it's her hair or her nails or perfume, but he knows something is different, he just can't put his finger on it. Or someone who's extremely cerebral and highly intelligent, but isn't as present to their own bodies or in the moment. A less sensitive person might miss cues or maybe reading a book and realize that they didn't retain anything at all. Overall, they aren't as easily affected by their surroundings and tend to shake things off very easily. So with this type of person, lens neural feedback will still be effective, but it might take longer for the person to notice changes. Your lens provider might increase your dose of treatment to more seconds or more sites at a time if you are not noticing any changes. Modifications in treatment can affect how quickly you notice changes but other people in your life might notice changes about you before you do. So for someone less sensitive, they might think nothing has changed, but maybe their spouse notices something. Your wife might say, 
hey, you haven't been yelling on the road like you used to. I'll give myself as another example. I would classify myself as less sensitive and perhaps dense. My wife would agree. So when I first started my own lens treatments, I didn't notice anything too impactful during the sessions. Only a few times I felt a slight tingling in my spine, but most sessions I didn't feel anything dramatic. Probably about four sessions into treatments, I noticed that I was more relaxed after the sessions. But the biggest changes happened slowly over the course of a month. And I noticed things that used to be hard for me to do weren't as hard anymore. I was mowing the lawn without complaining like I used to, and my wife was surprised she hadn't heard anything about it. In the past, doing things I didn't like to do felt so difficult, almost like walking through mud. And then all of a sudden, I had the energy and bandwidth to do those things, and it didn't require as much effort. I don't feel as wiped out, and I recover much faster after a stressful event, like my car battery dying. It didn't feel like my whole day was derailed. These changes have made an incredible difference in my life, even though I rarely feel anything during a lens session. This goes to show that what you feel during the lens session isn't as important as what changes will occur afterward. Here is another list of examples that can occur 48 hours or more after a lens session. I'm not yelling at my kids anymore. I'm not grumpy. After that last session, my daughter was humming in the back seat as we were driving home. She hasn't done that in two years. After that last session, my husband is singing in the shower again. He hasn't done that in a long time. My child is no longer having meltdowns every day. The midnight feedings have stopped. A client was no longer raiding the refrigerator every evening. Changes in dreaming, feeling lighter, return of a sense of humor, easier to laugh, drinking less than usual, amount and or frequency, smoking less than usual, amount and or frequency. My child now makes eye contact. My child has been more affectionate and spontaneously hugs me and or crawls in my lap. Communicating needs or feelings more easily intuition increasing, patience increasing. I could share even more examples, and I will in other videos, but for now, let's discuss the other factor that relates to changes, reactivity. This is the intensity of observable or audible responsiveness to changes or stimulation. Okay, so that means you basically react more to things. A reactive person is more likely to be explosive or angered when changes occur and this can mean that they require more time to adjust to changes in order to calmly process what has happened. For example, after a lens session, you might experience some feelings of tiredness because your brain is using energy to process the treatment. Some people can become angry when they are tired and more irritable and therefore should try to relax after a session instead of planning a big meeting or many events. My wife is higher in reactivity than I am, so after a lens session, she can become cranky in her own words and need some chocolate and relaxation or a nap. Treatment dosage can also be reduced if the session causes a person to feel overly tired, wired, or anxious after a treatment. This means that the treatment dose was too strong and the brain is having a harder time processing the information. The treatment will still be effective and these side effects will be temporary and last about 24 to 48 hours. But the dose can be reduced so that the experience is more gentle and the brain is given less information to process. Another important factor is your community support. Family and friends should be aware that their loved one is undergoing lens neurofeedback treatment so that they can be supportive and help the patient process their treatment. If reactivity is part of the person's diagnoses, like in manic depressive episodes or bipolar disorder or seizure disorder, then the patient's doctor and therapist need to be in the loop about the treatments and help to facilitate the best care possible. Another change which requires your doctor's input might be a review or modification of your medication because lens neural feedback can calm down your nervous system and decrease the need for anti-anxiety, hypertensive, thyroid, and diabetic medications. For highly reactive patients who have what is called the core eight, seizures, tics, migraines, headaches, cluster headaches, stuttering, Tourette syndrome, and explosiveness, please be aware that after you begin lens treatments, you might experience an increase in your symptoms but this will be temporary as your brain works through changing its electrical patterns and lifting brain suppression. Your brain has to navigate the memory of the seizures before it can heal. Just like with PTSD, there is sometimes a more vivid experience of the traumatic memory which reemerges with lens. But this is temporary and it is experienced in a different and clearer way before our calmness sets in, 
which removes the stress response attached to the memory. With the core eight, the temporary increase in symptoms and intensity may last about two to three weeks, and then you will experience a reduction in symptoms and frequency. Many people have reported a complete remission of all their symptoms after receiving lens neural feedback. Lens neural feedback will not cause any of these symptoms if you do not have them before, but again, you will need to work with your doctor to discuss changes in symptoms and medication adjustments if necessary. Also, if the person is medicated for the symptom and the medication is controlling the symptoms activity 100%, then administering the lens would not be expected to elicit the temporary return or increase in the symptom pattern. Now for an important announcement. Lens neural feedback does not claim to heal or treat any diseases. And if you are one of those people who find no benefits from lens neural feedback or your benefits from lens neural feedback have dwindled and you are still having negative symptoms that you might want to improve, there might be either structural, environmental, or nutritional factors that need to be addressed first. For example, there might be additional issues like mold in your home, metal toxicity, or an active illness, whether viral or bacterial, that needs resolution before continuing with lens. Lens treatments are meant to be tailored to the patient, and that is why it is so important to share any changes or concerns with your lens provider so that the best possible treatment plan can be tailored to you. In my practice, I do my best to help my patients understand the benefits and limits of lens neural feedback, and it really is a joy for me when I see my patients' lives improving. I started making these videos for my patients, but also for anyone interested in lens neural feedback. If you have any questions, you can find my information below, and I've linked where you can find a lens provider near you in the description box. Please subscribe to support my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. The first is since the Okay. My mouth is dry on like sensitivity and saying all the on your level of sensitivity and your reactive. Just need you to hit a play. Even the way I <laughs> Therefore by the grace of God go I.